Hey guys, Funk Robertson, FunkMMA.com, and today I've got what I think are the best bodyweight MMA workouts on the planet. If you're a jiu-jitsu artist, MMA, martial arts, Muay Thai, wrestler, whatever, these are the workouts that are gonna get you into the best shape and get you fight ready. Even if you don't, if you're never gonna fight, even if you just train, these are the workouts to get your body ready to endure what you need to do as a martial artist. These are my 10 exercise circuits. You do uh, each exercise for 60 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest, as many reps as possible through. These are an eclectic uh, a combination of movements that you're gonna use as a fighter. You need to be able to use your body as one. You need to be able to use your muscles as one. Compound movements, explosive movements, power movements, core movements. That's why I love these workouts because I put everything into one. Plus, there's that mental fortitude. These are very tough. 60 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds rest are tough, cardio based, uh, intensity based, work capacity. These are the workouts, the best workouts on the planet. Anyways, let me take you through this workout. 10 exercises, let's get it done. Perform each exercise for 60 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds rest, doing as many reps as possible. After you've done all 10 exercises, rest for one minute and then repeat for three rounds. Let's get it done. Okay, our first exercise are knee slap burpees. Of course, we're starting off with a full metabolic exercise, but we want to get those knees up, jumping as high as we can, slapping the knees to the top. Again, we just go back fast, up fast. We don't, we don't go into a push-up. This is about speed. This is about explosiveness. This is about getting back fast and up fast as, as fast as you possibly can. Make sure that you breathe throughout this movement and keep that core tight. That's going to be key to keeping the energy in while you do this exercise. Our next exercise are kick through push-ups or grasshopper push-ups, whatever you want to call them. But here we do into the push-up at the top of the movement is when we kick through and rotate. So we have a little bit of rotation involved. Obviously the upper body and chest are going to be involved so you get muscular endurance. We really got to focus on getting a, a, a very strong upper body in the MMA and martial arts community. So push-ups are key, but different styles of push-ups like this kick through will help um, you develop that. Next exercise, a reverse lunge explode. So here we go into a reverse lunge and then we explode up. The leg that's back, that's where your arm is gonna be up, as you can see, to help me explode. It's like throwing a, a jumping knee at the top of the movement. That's kind of like the same movement that you're looking at. Um, exploding off that back leg, jumping up as high as you can. Uh, sometimes you're gonna be able to explode high, sometimes you won't. But again, use that arm, those off arms, to help you explode and jump up as high as you can. Making sure you go back and not letting the back knee touch the ground. Next exercise are ab spring ups. This is the key here, ab spring ups. Now, one of the things, two things I want you to focus on here. I really want you to strike the abs. You really want to temper those abs. But the second thing is I want you to keep that back in neutral position. As you can see, my head is up. It's not uh, curled over. So I want to keep that neutral spine. And uh, that really will focus on keeping the tension on the abs. So keep that head up as you come up and really strike those abs um, on the way up. The next exercise, a cardio movement. We're focusing here on uh, the sprint and press. So cardio and of course shoulders are, are being moved here, shoulder endurance, but uh, high knee sprints. So you're running as high as you can, as fast as you can in the same uh, stationary position, but also you're pressing up. So really want to focus on cardio moving as fast as you can, 60 seconds. So you don't want to stop. You want to run as fast as you can for the full 60 seconds. Next exercise are tabletop thrusts. I really love this one. It's mobility movement, core movement, stability movement, uh, everything that you would need uh, as a fighter here to, to strengthen. So here, as you can see, I sit back through and then I come up into a tabletop, blasting my hips up into a tabletop. So as you can see, my butt does not touch the ground. You wanna try to do this with your butt not touching the ground. Your shoulders will be stable. Your core will be needs to be engaged. And again, uh, breathe at the top of each, each movement. Next exercise are bear crawls. So I love this movement now. With the bear crawl, I want you to focus on keeping again. As you can see here, I'm keeping my back straight. So I'm in a straight line here. Um, and I want to stay in that, that bear crawl movement. Really short movements using the arms and legs. Core is really tight. Moving as fast as you can. Again, you're going to move. Uh, you don't come up on the movement. You just keep going forward. Next exercise are double low squat and jump. So I like this exercise again because we've got uh, a little bit of a low squat movement which will hit the quads and then you need to explode up while your quads are fatigued or getting fatigued. So again, you want to sit back on the squat, okay? You're sitting back in the squat, heels are on the ground and you want to jump through the heels. So make sure your heels are on the ground, you're sitting back into the squat and again, you want to jump as high as you can at the top of the movement. 
Next exercise, our plank builds. This is straight up core, straight up uh, upper body, straight up shoulder stability, straight up um, amazing exercise. You wanna move fast through this exercise. And again, this is an anti-rotational movement, so we try not to rotate in the butt, try not to rotate in the core. You wanna keep that core stable and push through the ground when you're pushing up. Really gotta push through the ground hard uh, with each movement. Finally, we're doing side-to-side -side sprawl. So this is the final movement. Um, as you're going to be fatigued through the uh, last nine movements, this is the one you really got to focus on because this is when you're tired, someone's trying to take you down, you've really got to focus on not being taken down. So back fast, up fast, moving side to side, make sure you shuffle, don't cross over the feet, um, and you're going back fast, up fast, moving as fast as you can throughout this movement. So there you have it guys, I'm telling you, I will go to my grave saying that these are the best workouts on the planet for fighters because how we comp how I combine all the exercise together and put it into a workout that will help you get into the best shape of your life whether you want to fight or not. Anyways, if you like that workout then please like it, share it, uh, leave your comments below, let me know what you think. Also, I've got a free four week bodyweight workout. Get it somewhere here or click the link below. And finally, if you like that bodyweight workout then check out that one I did at Tiger Muay Thai with a bunch of fighters and get it done.